Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell. So if you think I'm wearing the same thing, I'm not. I'm actually, uh, well, I am wearing the same thing because I'm doing all these episodes in one day. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know uh, ahead of time that we're going to be doing reviews of every single part of uh, this desk build. Okay, so if you guys didn't see uh, the other ones, make sure you go in order. I'm going to be doing them in, in order from the sticks first, which is the legs, and then we're going to build on it everything else. And, you know, that'll be the episode. So consider this really episode three. Uh, the first episode was, of course, the introduction. The second episode was how to put the crank, uh, you know, the, the legs with the crank on. And now we're going to go into the tabletop. We need a tabletop, obviously, for this beautiful model right here. So um, last time we, we got off, we did uh, this right here. Okay, so now we're going to be doing this. Now, I know you guys are going to say this is one hell of a uh, table, uh, that this desk is, uh, you know, uh, the tabletop is extremely... Uh, large, but that's what I needed. Uh, you could go with smaller ones if you want, and it's going to cost you even cheaper than, uh, you know, like I said, uh, just like my other mini series, which covered how to build a gaming computer slash production, post production uh, for your filming uh, computer, uh, just like I showed you guys how to build um, a helmet. From beginning to end in my other mini series uh, on the 3d printer everything is geared to give you guys the quality of a retail value that retails extremely high but if you build it yourself it'll be for extremely cheap so like I said this table that we're building right now has a retail value of anywhere from close to nine hundred dollars to about fifteen hundred dollars that being said uh, we're gonna build it if, if you guys don't want the cabinet let's say you, we, you could build it for literally just over $300 with the cabinet just a little bit over the $400 mark as I'm going to show you guys right here now the other thing that I'm going to say and I'm, and I'm, I'm I keep repeating it because anybody who happens to run into this could see this um, you could even go much cheaper than that so for example if you don't want something that's a 72.5 inch or even though they're it's called 72 inches I measured it before it's about a 72.5 inch uh, tabletop you could always go with a 60 or a 54 or whatever, and you guys are going to pay even less money because you could get them for like 50, 60 bucks, which isn't a problem. So that's going to take a lot of money out of there. But right now we're building a huge runway type um, uh, pr productivity, production, post-production, and gaming ta uh, table, uh, desk. Like I said, I'm going to have my... 43 incher as you see right there that's a 43 inch monitor that's my giant server like computer that i showed you guys how to build uh on the cheap uh so all of these things plus my 3d printer that i built from scratch and my regular printer scanner not to mention my mixer so all of this crap is going to actually be on this table so i need a lot of space for that now if you guys are only looking for you know you don't have a 3d printer or you don't have a you know you would want to put a print a, a, a printer in there I still suggest anywhere from 60 uh, inches and up I don't think 54 is going to benefit you anyway uh, I know some of you guys like putting the computer in the bottom and like I told you guys I am a hundred percent against that because it does bu build dust build all kinds of crap and it just cuts from what I've seen and I have built computers for many people anyone that has it there it cuts the longevity of its life when you put it on top it's just much easier to access and all that goodness so that's why I like uh, I like it always on the top but again whatever floats your boat but the thing is that does require you know a lot of girth a lot of uh, ruggedness so you need that so especially on the 3d printer where it's going like this you don't want it to shake uh, you don't want the table to shake so you want it to be stable and this is why you get something like this so I want to have a 72.5 inch now this thing supports 80 inches but again, I don't recommend you go to the full-on 80 because you're going to get shake. So a nice sweet spot's about 75. And since I couldn't find a 75-incher, I found a 72-incher that really is 72.5. Now, the beauty about this table, you're going to see it is two-sided. So you could pick whether you want the cherry or mahogany or whatever type of color or the regular color. So you'll get to see it right now. So we're going to go right into the unboxing. So remember, if you guys didn't see how to put the legs, make sure you check that out because you definitely want to put the legs together first. And then you're going to flip it upside down and then just pretty much pick it up and measure it on that table and don't forget to get a leveler you're going to need a leveler as well any cheap leveler will do it it doesn't make a difference just because you want to make sure that you have it all perfect and you also want to have a measuring tape to make sure that it's uh, you know perfectly aligned if not you know you're kind of screwed so that's something to think about so let's get right into the unboxing y'all so 
be back in a few. So guys, as usual, in the description below, you're going to see where I got most of these things. I don't do any Patreon services or get paid to tell you things are good uh, by, you know, like other YouTubers are. I give you guys the absolute honest reviews. So I don't like posting links usually of anything. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post you a picture. And the links are going to go bad anyway because I got these parts all off of eBay. So just look up the part num uh, the parts. Uh, just by what I show you in this picture and you can actually go to the seller or go to anything if you want uh, But you'll see that I have no affiliate links whatsoever to them But so I'm giving you guys the honest review truth of the, uh, you know 100% truth I bought from them a lot of things from tabletops to other things as well They're really trustworthy places so I do recommend them and now as you can see this is a 72.5 incher right here So we're gonna go right into opening it. Give me one second. So I have to put the fan in on this one right now. So as you can see, really well packaged. Uh, it already had a lot of dents and bings on the actual uh, carton. So always make sure, I, with big things, I always like to make sure that I'm there so I can open it. This, I wasn't there, unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to have to check how this table came, but it looks like it's going to come, uh, it's going to be in pretty good condition. But they had dings and stuff, but you always want to check it uh, before. So if it sucks, you could say return to sender, send it right back and get a replacement if it came, you know, screwed up. So as you can see, really packaged well. Uh, so, so it could definitely take the bings, uh, the dings right here. So look how beautiful this table is. I mean, incredible. Look at this. Uh, I'm probably going to want to have this thing facing facing towards me, but you could also go, ugh. hold on, oh, this is brutal. So even though it looks the same, it's really not. This is more of a lighter color. This is a darker color. Okay, and as you can see, protectors right here all around, glued in very beautifully. I'm seeing a little problem here, as you can see, again, from the delivery probably. So it definitely kind of sucks that it's like that, but it, it's okay. I'm not going to bitch and complain about that, but all over, not bad. Pretty awesome. I don't know if I want to do the dark one up or the lighter one up. I think I'm going to go with the darker one. I like the darker uh, version more. So as you can see, this thing weighs a good amount. So you might, uh, I would say you need two people probably. Uh, but like I said, if you put it on the floor and then just put that thing upside down on it, you'll be easier. Uh, it'll be easier to screw in. Let me see here. So right here, uh, let me get that in there and focus. I'm doing like 360 camera movements here. Basically, in a nutshell, I'm like doing is holding in myself because everything in my in my uh, room right now is. A wreck, as you can see, I just painted everything. I fogged up the place with foggers because I had to kill the mosquitoes that came in when I aired out this dump. Uh, so, uh, a <laughs> ton of crap that I have to do on this end. But um, as you can see, just got this really beautiful table, really amazing. There has been a ding on the corner, which kind of upsets me a little bit because uh, I'm a perfectionist and it really does irritate me, but it's only one all the way on the side. Uh, and it's kind of, I think it, it wasn't from the delivery, I think it was more of a manufacturer defect. Uh, just on the side, a little bit of a tiny raise, nothing really graded or anything like that. You saw it was just like kind of a little rise. So I think it's a manufacturer problem. Uh, that being said, I don't care because I'm not going to be using that side anyway. I'm going to be using the side, oh my god, I think I do have to use that side because that's the side that has the... Let me check it out. Yep, it is. Okay. So I just wanted to tell you how it is. This is a 72 point five inch look how wide this thing is you could put so much crap on it and also in terms of the depth it's about 30 to be honest i think this is even more than 30 it's probably a 31 the measurement's a little screwed up but you could tell literally from how deep it is uh so you know give yourself some room obviously i have as you can see uh and this is going to be one hell of a table to put a bunch of crap on there so I'm really, really psyched about this because I'm going to have my monitor on here, 43 incher, my computer on here, my printer, and my 3D printer all in one damn freaking table. So this is really, really incredible. Again, I do kind of wish that I had this color, Ugh, but now because of that ding, I don't know. See, this ding here is really pissing me off, even though it's not going to even be seen. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. So guys, just wanted to update. 
in my living room right now, but um, uh, just wanted to update on it. So basically what they did was <clears throat> they gave me uh, pretty much a brand new uh, one. They said they're going to send it to me. Uh, and obviously it only had that little ding. So what I did is I had these markers uh, that came with it that I will be doing a review for you guys on that as well. Uh, and the marker basically blended in. So you don't see any of that little tiny uh, crack. Um, you know, it, it's not really a big crack. It's just like a tiny little thing. So I told the guy, I said, um, you know what? I don't want the new one because I'm going to, you know, I, I was very, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh I didn't want to, you know, wait for this. I didn't have patience uh, for it till another one will come in another seven days or whatever. So he was ready to send me out a new one and have somebody actually pick it up, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I told him instead of all of that, you know, I already, you know, drilled everything. I put everything in. I didn't care because I, I didn't have patience. Uh, what could he do for me? Uh, so he actually was nice enough to give it to me at a 50% discount. And then he told me, um, which I thought was 50%, and then he told me that he'll only charge me $25 for the tabletop, which I think is pretty freaking cool for a little tiny, you know, issue like that. So that was really nice uh, with them. So for $25, I got a, a tabletop. Now, obviously, you guys are not going to get it unless there's like a crack or something in it. But, um, you know, I just pretty much took the marker, uh, you know, did the, did the blending, and I also... Um, uh, put wood glue on it just in case even though you don't need to now it was in the far corner of the uh, right side actually so I didn't care because my 3d printer is going on that so uh, it, It's not really viewable, but I, I blended it in anyway, and I fixed it pretty much myself with uh, that uh, You know with wood glue and then that color and it blended everything just nicely now I, If I wanted even a more flush look I take my sander my electric sander and just sand the hell out of it and but uh there was no need. It came out really nice. So anyways, that's uh, uh, episode three. I uh, hope you guys are going to tune in for episode four. We'll see uh, what it is. That, uh, you know, and then other episodes after that. So definitely stay tuned. And as always, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for two prizes. Okay, one for the Noob Cybot uh, mask. Uh, the other one is for the Scorpion mask. So uh, the first winner will be able, you know, this is going to be in the last episode. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys uh, definitely throughout these episodes to comment, uh, like, uh, subscribe. Uh, and then I'm going to be uh, putting it through a randomizer like I did with the other prizes. And the first winner will be able to pick uh, if they want the Scorpion or the, um, the Scorpion or the Noob Saibot. Uh, the other one will, you know, be, will get whatever's left. And trust me, they're both awesome, so it doesn't even matter. So let me know what you guys think. And as always, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Helps out this channel a great deal, as this is a channel of honest reviews and how-tos and a bunch of other things. And most important, let me know in the comments down below exactly what you guys think. But also, keep those requests coming. I wish I could do them all. I'm self-funded here. Um... <clears throat> But uh, I definitely, you know, I put them on a board, and once it gets enough requests, I will come out with the mini series as all these mini series you're seeing right here. So keep those requests coming, and we'll see what we can do. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here. Be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking. Uh, this video subscribing and hitting that bell button as many more cool videos to come definitely want you guys in it and i want to I want you guys to be vocal definitely comment down below i want to hear what you guys have to say have a good one y'all take care bye